And Kun Teb Chai, right now we are having another leader from business community to be joining us of the proposal from the business community to the government in terms of handling the crisis. And right now, Kun Galin Sarasin, Chairman of the Thai Chamber of Commerce and Board of Trade of Thailand, is joining us. สวัสดีค่ะ Good evening, Kun Galin. สวัสดีครับนาทาครับคุณเทพชัยครับสวัสดีครับคุณคุณกรีนสวัสดี thank you for joining us คุณคุณกรีน we all know how badly the business sector has been damaged by the virus and the shutdown but can you give us a quick look as how worse it can get if the shutdown is kept in its present form say for another few months uh, so first of all I'd like to thank you very much for inviting me to share The, the the some information of you. Uh, first of all, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we have studies of what what will happen from now on. You know, for if we shut down at least one one month, even month yeah. we, we estimate uh, we have uh, people have lost a job, uh, more than seven million people. But if we uh, shut down like three months, we probably lost job about 10 million people. So uh, then, uh, the government also asked ask us, you know, what how many people we think is uh, have been affected. So we give the number to the government, and um, luckily, I think that government prepare ahead of time already, since uh, January. So right now, so they have the government have money to to give like five yeah. thousand people to all um, like you said like more than 10 million people got this benefit. So this is really the, the worst case in. in In the histories, mm. and actually, which, which and the, our economies which, depend which, on the which, tourism. Which, which are and the right now, the tourism people. is all gone, and also export yeah. also really bad. You know, the world mm. crisis coming, so it's very difficult for the business people to work at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, so Kun Green, But, which particular group of people that are being hurt the most as far as the unemployment is concerned now? Say again, please. I think which which particular groups of people uh, that are being hurt the most as far as unemployment is concerned. Uh, right now, the service sector, especially people dealing with tourism, they are the most uh, people uh, the, the affected the most. Uh, for example, the, from the hotel, from food sectors, from from uh, the, uh, the shopping center, something like this, uh, retails. All these people are eff affected. Uh, but still, you know, the 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 we still have some hope in the future because everyone is helping stay at home and work from home. Mm -hmm. So the number of the the people new cases is reducing. So I'm, I think it's good good news from that. Yeah. Yeah. Kundalini, you have proposed sandbox to the government in order to solve the economic crisis. Can you tell us more about the sandbox? That you have proposed. Yes, uh, our proposal, uh, our committee is consists of uh, many doctors, uh, from people from TDRI, from uh, Chamber of Commerce and Provincial Chamber of Commerce, a trade association. So a lot of people coming to help us to do it. So we come out with the metrics. The first metric is come from area base. They have the the provincial. In the uh, the green zone, yellow zone, and also red zone. The green zone has been past 14 days. You have no no COVID at all, and the yellow zone have some, and red zone still have have a lot of people in his hospitals. But another one is sector base. Sector base also the green zone, yellow zone, and also the red zone. But if the the green zone you meet with the green zone, uh, meet with the The sector zone, the green zone, also that means it's, it's automatically you can open your business. But if the red zone, uh, provincial red zone, and you cross with the green zone, a, a green zone for the for the business sector, that means you have to be watch out, be careful. So this is our, our concept. But mostly for the red zone, we have to stop everything, right? So this is our proposal. At the moment, we we said that we should obey uh, the 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 health uh, people, yeah. saying that you know the the first thing have to 
stay away, you know, from from the the densities of the people. Mm -hmm. The second one, you have to uh, stay in the in a place at less than one hour, and the third place is you have to uh, join activity with the less noise, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. the fourth one you have to be in a place where the 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 air uh, can blow through, and uh, the mm -hmm. the fifth is you have to obey. For example, you have to measure temperatures, and also you have to wear the mask, and also have to use a jail. This is a mm. this is the uh, basic basic requirement for the people uh, for each zone and each uh, sector have to apply. And then so we after that so we have the the proposal for the government that we should have some sample. That means some uh, sandbox for at least uh, two weeks for the mm -hmm. provincial, the green zone and also yellow zone. And with the, the sector for yellow zone and so green zone. So that, uh, it's a, so we can see what's going on for the for that two, two, two weeks period. At the same mm -hmm. time, we also have two application. The first application for track and tracing, that one we call using the, uh, we call Moshana. This is uh, used at the, uh, the uh, DE ministry. They also announced already last week. So we you use this for tracking. And another application is uh, being uh, being doing right now. And then also we will finish uh, on this Friday. And this application is using for the, the sector base. For example, the area that uh, you want to go in, for example, a department store, you have to use a the QR code first with a line and then after that when when you read the QR code and then you scan it and then after that, you can see that uh, what's going on in that uh, standard or that uh, department store and how many people can go in and you have to stay apart and also how long you stay in that place something like this we apply to restaurants to many places that be open so this is application uh, will be finished within two days and after this finish so we said, okay, we going to use a sandbox, a sandbox, and then after that, if the sandbox two weeks after finishes, we know what's going on, and after that we can start the first period for opening up the, the green zone. Uh, that is basically uh, what we plan. Kunkarin, for the measures you just mentioned to be successful and effective, it means the private sector, the business community, we have to work very closely with the authorities, right? In monitoring and making yeah. sure that all these uh, measures are closely or strictly followed by business operators. So that mean, doesn't mean that the Chamber of Commerce will be an instrument a player in making sure that uh, there's a cross cooperation between the private sector and the government. Right. Right now we work very closely uh, with, the, with the government, with the health departments. Mm -hmm. And also mm -hmm. use uh, we work with the COVID uh, administration also, yeah. and also mm -hmm. we working closely with the uh, uh, related party, for example mm -hmm. the provincial places and also with the, the trade association. That means that each sector, for example, the, mm -hmm. today we dealing with the restaurant association and also department store association. Uh, working with the golf association, something like this, we have to work closely mm -hmm. with them and ask Let's them see. to uh, draw out the, the standards, uh, the new standard, mm -hmm. I mean, new normal, what we have to do yeah, yeah. with the new, uh, uh, when we own, what to open up. So we have to have new, new mm -hmm. standard to apply to their uh, sectors. It's the matter of survival, isn't it, Kun Glin? And for how long do you think that the business can be up and coming after the sandbox or what's the factor or what's the situation that you have to evaluate after experimenting with the sandbox that you have just told us for my personal point of view i think the most important thing we have to focus on the health of the people of thailand but if from now on if each day is improving better and better so i'm sure the government will be ease open up a little bit little bit you cannot open up everything at the same time is is you have can you can see many uh, examples from other countries already so the uh, the government really want to make sure that standard has been set in place application should be set in place and then after that step by step 
So I, I think it will take some time. So the, the COVID will be with us for at least a year and a half. So make sure mm -hmm. that you know, you're ready for everything. Mm -hmm. Kunkrin, this, uh, this uh, pandemic certainly came as a rude awakening to everyone. It affecting every walks of life in, 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 in the whole world, not only in Thailand. So as a business businessman, I'm, I'm sure that you are, this is something you and did not expect it to happen. But as a businessman, how do you see the situation? How do you see the post-COVID-19 scenario? There are people out there who say that uh, we certainly cannot go back to business as usual anymore. So how do you see the future of businesses? I'm sure that the business will be changed a lot. Mm -hmm. And we will using the for digital technology more and more. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, Thai Chamber of Commerce, we are setting up the new application. This should be finished within two weeks. So matching up with the people, uh, no, no, no employment with, uh -huh. with the, the de demand and supply with the, the mm -hmm. company who really want the people uh, to work for them. Another one, yeah. uh, they want the people to to lay off, so we have to match up mm -hmm. this application. So this is one thing that we want to help the people. And also we can have to see our national stra strategies. Maybe in the future, we have to see more, uh, we can move it to more uh, value added uh, business with mm -hmm. the agricultural products. And also we can see right now, for the food business is very good. For example, the food processing and we can, right now we can export food everywhere in the world. We are we are mm. center of uh, manufacturing food. So this is one of the yeah. strength of our, our, mm. our uh, countries. And also in the future, we can see that how can we use a local economy to promote our uh, economy, not, not only mm. uh, import uh, tourism from other countries and also yeah. not only depend on export product alone. So this, this mm. thing have to rethink Revisit our national strategies again. Mm, mm, mm. And 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 Kun, oh, okay. Can, yes. Can come. Kun Glin said you you just mentioned that we perhaps need to restructure our economy, not to rely too much on export and tourism sector. So what what's the future? Do you see how should we adapt to the future? Our, our future prop probably have to focus into services, but new services, uh, new tech, digital technology services. We use application for something like this, maybe for training for new things, reskill new things, and also learning for new things that, you know, uh, I'm sure that people, after we opening up, lots of people will come to Thailand, but what mm -hmm. we can offer them with you know, quote unquote safety first is very important. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that uh, Thailand will be uh, very uh, uh, popular among many people. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure that uh, some high value services uh, can be offered from, from, from Thai people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, like you know, the, the something hygiene, something medical, mm -hmm. tourism, uh, medical offers. I'm saying, a long long stay be all right. You know, long stay with the people who who really to come and and, and st long stay here and also give knowledge to Thai people. Mm. Suddenly, like this you have to rethink what can we add value uh -huh. to Thai people. I see. Akun Green, I'm sure you have many friends in the foreign business community. How do they how do they see Thailand handling this uh, pandemic? Right now, at first, it's really hectic. I, mm. I have a lot of friends here in Thailand, mm. and mm. they're really hectic because the communication is really poor at first. And then right yeah, now, yeah. the communication is better. And also mm. for border trade and Thai Chamber of Commerce, we also communicate to business communities, foreign business communities, mm. with mm. Stanley Kang, with the, these people, yeah. to know what's going on with the government, what the government will do in the future. And also we ask, uh, what our community, uh, foreign community in Thailand, what do concern? So mm -hmm. uh, for the past month, they concerned about the visa and also work permit. Mm -hmm. So they asked yes. us to, to, you know, help them. So yesterday the government are, are already uh, extended visa until the 31st of uh, July. 
but mm -hmm. they didn't extend the work permit. So this is our job. Today I have a meeting with Dr. Somkit, Deputy Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. I also uh, give him this uh, information about extend the work permit also. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell them that uh, the foreign uh, community in Thailand, that's will be a while until mm. Thai uh, government allow the the foreign uh, um, expat to come into Thailand. Mm. So this mm. have, you have to, you know, uh, do working on online uh, telecom mm. telecommunications, and also uh, last week uh, the government helping with a new uh, e e uh, what do you call e. E uh, communication. E, e meeting. Uh, yeah, yeah. E meeting. Sorry, e meeting. E meeting. So this right. is yeah. you don't have to be here in Bangkok. You can be from anywhere in the world, and you don't have to be one third in a room. So this is I very see. easy. Uh, can do business yeah. better yeah. and better. So we can think mm -hmm. this is up to up to it is, uh, not a trend. Mm -hmm. It's up to it for Thai to uh, revise rules regulations, and also I think that uh, the Thai government should use this as opportunity to uh, revise as an e-government more and more. And how do you think of Prime Minister open letter to British business people and business community? Is that a good move? Uh, I, I think this is uh, quite innovative, you know, <laughs> because I, <laughs> I, I never know that the, the, you mentioned these are rich people, these are poor people. But <laughs> I think that uh, the people who would like to help the government, we have a lot of people who like mm. to help government. So if you can ask them, if you want to help government, what can you do? Mm. This is better. Mm. Yeah, be better than ask them, you are rich people, you have to help government. So <laughs> those people, those people, uh, top 20, what you said, that majority of them uh, belong to Thai Chamber of Commerce. They are members of, of Thai Chamber of Commerce, and they already help you know, the countries. They're in the mm -hmm. committees, and they send people to help. They send uh, the money. They send many things to help. You know, sometimes these people don't want to show up that they were helping. They uh, work around. You know, they go behind. They don't want to show them their face. It, I think it's a good way mm -hmm. to do it. You know, so but okay, it's quite innovative that the government uh, asked these people to come and show up. Yeah, I'm sure that the government will be needing a lot of advice and ideas from business people like yourselves in the coming weeks in reopening the economy. So certainly you will be busy with requests for, for meetings. Yes, right, right. <laughs> I think right now it's more busy than I'm in the office. <laughs> Every hour, <laughs> all the meetings. Yeah. yeah. And you cannot, you. you cannot have excuse of not being not not being available. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, your your, your schedule must of, be packed. Tomorrow I have to be in somewhere else. They said, are, are you available? No, I have to be available. So I have to be <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. coming with working from home and having teleconference meeting. Thank you very much, Kun Glynn, for joining us. But please hold on oh. because this is English version and we like to carry on talking with you in Thai. But right now, we, we would like you to watch this with us together. It's Lisbon-based orchestra. Play together over the internet. And let's hear Mozart's Symphony Number no. 40 together. Mm.